Good evening, everyone, or I guess still afternoon. Still daylight out here. Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with a four-box random team break of 2017-18 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball, our last four boxes in the store from the time being. So the people that got involved in this one are right here. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate everybody getting into it. All teams are in. Let's randomize that list. Both lists six times. One and a five. Names first. One, two, three, four, Five and six. Rory Sears down two. Elvis Ekman. <laughs> exactly. Boombox. Yeah, we can't can't have that. Uh, one and a five, six times. Right there. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Six times. Oklahoma City Thunder. OKC down to the Miami Heat. It is Eric Jennings. All right, so Rory Sears with the OKC Thunder, Kevin Crouch with the Raptors, Elvis Ekman with the Sixers, Nets for Will, Jeremy 33 with the Suns, Will with the Pelicans, Sen Yin with the Lakers, get little Laker Joe Mojo, Kevin Crouch with the Knicks, Mike Cody with the Clippers, Moody with the Warriors, uh, Grizzly and Jazz for Jeremy 33, Will with the Cavs, we'll see them tonight, Cosmo with the Blazers, Jeremy 33 with the Hornets, Spurs for Will, Pistons for Jeremy, Will with the Magic, Jeremy with the Kings, Timberwolves for Peter, Moody with the Celtics, See them tonight too. Will with the Rockets and Pacers. Josh with the Mavs. Will with the Bucks. Rory Sears with the Hawks. Elvis Ekman with the Bulls. Will with the Wizards and the Nuggets. And Elvis with the Miami Heat. Any trades? Feel free to trade if you'd like. And here are the last five or last four boxes right here. N labeled them RT9, so we know they're from the same case. And we've got the, uh, who, who does everyone have in tonight's game, by the way? Celtics at Cleveland. Celtics at the Cavs. What does everyone think? All right, trade window closed. Not even a whisper of a trade. Is there a one-hour pregame show for what, Eric Jennings? The basketball game? Eric going Celtics tonight. He's, he's, he's thinking they're going to take a commanding 3 nothing lead in the series. I mean, it's a must-win. I, I guess, well, they're all must-win games. Playoff games are all must-win, right? All right, here's the final list. But this is a must-must-win for the Cavs. Jose, not a fan of LeBron. He hates LeBron even. He, LeBron must have kicked his dog. Uh, he hates LeBron, but I think they win game three. Did LeBron kick your dog, Jose? Why do you hate him? Come over to your house. I was just like, Jose, I hate your dog. Kick. Kicked him right in the stomach. And then Jose was like, after that, never again. Never really. Like, I don't care how good of a basketball player you are, LeBron James. I don't care if you're a generational talent. I think the game starts in about half an hour, I believe. In fact, by the time we finish this break, we'll be leading right, right up to uh, tip-off. Yeah, we're all oppo on our teams, Eric Jennings. I feel like we get along on so many other things, but but team-wise, oppo. Yeah, Celtics definitely oppo for me. Moody's got oppo Joe Mojo in that. I think maybe baseball, we're, we're okay in baseball, right? I think you said you're a Royals guy, so I think, I'm, I think we're okay there. All right, good luck, everybody. Love this Donner's Optic Basketball. We'll try to get some more. I think this, this, these random teams 
four box random teams are a nice sweet spot for everybody. So I think we'll try to get some more of this. All right, good luck everybody. Here we go. There's Chris Paul. We'll see him tomorrow along with Draymond. We'll see this guy tonight and this guy. There's Anthony Davis, Pelicans. One out of 175. Yeah, no, I hear you, Jose. Jose, Jose is saying, like, listen, it's just the way he left Cleveland that first time around. I think that still bugs a lot of people. I I have to admit, that was not my favorite way of him doing that. I mean, he raised a lot of money for kids, charity, with all that advertising dollars, so it's not like he profited off of it. There's Moody A for the Nuggets, Will Bartle, and we've got Daniel ha Daniel Hamilton, Signature Series. Let's get a nice close-up on that. <laughs> Come on, Daniel. Okay, C with that one. Rory Sears with the Thunder. Jose saying not telling the organization or not letting the organization know that he was leaving Shady just to chase left just to chase the title. Well, isn't that what, you, what you're supposed to do though, Jose? Right? If you're a basketball player, don't you want to win titles? And you know that ownership... Did I, did I already pull... Oh no, that's not tonight. And you know ownership would easily screw LeBron James the second he got a little injury. You think they're going to give him a max deal? I don't know. I'm on the player side usually, not on the ownership side. Ownership wouldn't ownership wouldn't do LeBron James a courtesy if they were going to trade him or trade any player for that matter. There's Willie Collie Stein, Lime Green. So why should a player let the organization know what they're doing out of 175? Derrick Rose, Black Velocity out of 99. Cavs give Derrick Rose a heads up. Hey, we're going to trade you. Just letting you know, out of courtesy. Nope. Let's we'll see Al Horford tonight. So I don't, you know, I don't really blame LeBron James for for wanting to not telling the organization anything or leaving to chase a title. What's wrong with that? I don't you want to chase titles too? Is that going to happen with Dan Gilbert in Cleveland? At the rate at which he fires GMs? Probably not. He had to do what he had to do. But all that being said, I think I agree with you in the sense that the whole like TV production thing, I, I just I, I wasn't into that. The decision, making this like a big event. I was like, really? That's not, I was not a fan of that. All right, that Markel Fultz, the rookies, goes to the Sixers. That'll be for Elvis Ekman. Chris Dunn, Bulls, Elvis, as well, out of 199. Come on, Daniel Hamilton. we got Al Horford playing. There's Sammy Ojale, LeBron James, Jalen Brown. These three versus LeBron James. See, that's really the main thing, William, is that LeBron James... Because William's like, hey, I appreciate LeBron's game. And even before the decision, his way of self-promoting always seemed saccharine to me. Always calculated, came life, came off like he had a marketing team scripting his life. That's what it gets me about LeBron James. I'm sure he's a nice dude. Everyone says he's a nice guy. He's, you know, he's not, he's not involved in DUIs or domestic violence cases or anything like that. He's great in the community, blah, 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 blah. Great uh, legendary player, generational talent. But... There, there is something always off about him, you know. Where, where it's all he's always seems, his words always seems too polished, too carefully scripted. You know what I mean? And it, it's like it's like he already had like his legacy planned out in a sense, which is fine. I mean, he's a great player. He's got confidence in himself to do that, but it, it just. It, it, it always just kind of, 
I don't know. It's always kind of bothered bothered me. Uh, yeah, the Dodgers already sold at Bowman a while ago, Eric. I think we're just waiting on the Nationals to sell out for that break to happen. But I think that's what always bothered me about about LeBron James. There's, there's something a little too a little too polished, a, a little too well rehearsed, a little too just like marketing friendly, but. And there's like a, I don't know. It it, it 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 doesn't really seem like. Well, he's he's a brand, and I think that's what he realized as soon as he entered the league. He's a savvy businessman. It's a brand. He knew he was a brand. So like, I think, I think he he had established that from the get go. Whereas you know maybe you see maybe you see guys like. I don't know, a young teenage Kobe Bryant who was just like, yeah, I'm just trying to work on my game. Kobe was kind of terrible for the first couple of years, you know, so. So I think, you know, in, in that sense, and you, you, you saw like KG, speaking of LeBron, um, someone like KG, right? Also a guy that came out of high school that goes to the Cavs, Will Bartle. You know, those guys seem to kind of evolve and grow into their superstardom. I don't know. It's Marcus Morris. Any guesses on that redemption? There's Yabuselli for the Celtics out of 199. Oh, so it's totally sold out now? Nice. So someone must have picked up the Nationals. All right, so there's Dylan Brooks for the Grizz. That goes to Jeremy 33. De'Aaron Fox for the Kings to Jeremy 33. And Yabusel, E. Yabusel, Ojale, Ojale, 40 out of 199. Eric guessing the, the, the Rockets guy. Oh, yeah. I forgot that Jordan Clarkson's on his team right here. Champions here, Robert Ori. You guys realize how many champion like rings Robert already has? Eighty four out of ninety nine for the uh, for the Lakers. Almost said Rockets. Lakers. That goes to Sen Yin. Did I look at these already? Yeah, we did. Kevin Love, the other guy that could that could help. Wow. Three out of five Porzingis. Ooh. New York Knicks. Kevin Crouch with the New York Knickerbockers. Three out of five. That's nice. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. I'll set that over here. That is nice. J.R. Smith, Dennis Smith Jr. J.R. Smith going to contribute in this playoffs? Nice Dennis Smith Jr. for the Mavs. That'll go to Josh Pruce. There's J.R. Smith. Cavs, that'll go to Will Bartle. Larry Nance is helping them out. Nice Jordan Bell. Jordan Bell Hollow is solid. Oh, uh, Eric Jennings is thinking that it's going to be Zoo Key. The uh, the Rockets guy that doesn't play. He's like seven foot, though. He's seven foot, right? And it's Dylan Brooks, rated rookie signatures, Hollow. Uh, Dylan Brooks, I believe, is a Memphis Grizzly, if I'm not mistaken. He is a Grizz. That goes to Jeremy 33. All right, we'll set that aside. Nice out of five, Porzingis. That is strong. Good train whistle. 
All right, two boxes to go. Why doesn't that seven footer, that, is he Chinese or Taiwanese? I think he's Chinese. Um, where, uh, I mean, does he get minutes at all in the playoffs? I think he's like seven foot. You would think that he could just plug up the paint if need be, take some fouls. You would think. I think his autographs kind of sell well, though, due to his, his uh, the international market. Good luck, everyone. Second to last box. Handful of packs to go. Yeah, I like... I don't, yeah, Jose, I agree with you. I don't, I don't know if, if, uh, if comparing any basketball player is fair. Uh, comparing any basketball player to Michael Jordan is fair. Andre Iguodala, lime green. And Wesley Wundu for the magic. Do you believe in magic, Orlando? Yes. Will Bartle with that one. Who do I have? Golden State or Houston? Asked Jose. In the series, I have Houston. I don't. I don't know. I don't feel super confident about that anymore. But <laughs> I will. Uh, I will stick with it. I'll stick with my pick. Fifty-three out of one seventy-five for Iguodala. We'll see him tomorrow. Nice Dan Smith Jr., Paul George, Pacers edition, Paul George, OKC edition, Damian Dotson, Lime Green. And that's out of 175. We'll set that right there. Knicks with that one. That'll be for Kevin Crouch, Dan Smith Jr., Mavs. That's another one for Josh Proust. The hollow versions, Josh, are the ones we're looking for, but those rated rookie ones are nice too. Like this hollow Wes Uundu. Another one for the Magic, Will Bartle. We got Doug McDermott, red for the Knicks. It's another one for Kevin Crouch. Eric Jennings said, you sold an MLS auto for over who? Who'd you sell it at? In the, who in the MLS goes for over 500 bucks? To a company in my area. We'll have to, maybe we'll have to look that up if we have a second later on tonight. Nice Donovan Mitchell. Will Chamberlain Blue for the Lakers. 12 out of 49. Uh, Sen Yin with my Lakers. And there's Jimmy Butler. One more box to go, folks. That Donovan Mitchell rated rookie going to the Jazz, Jeremy 33. Hi, James. Did someone buy Toronto the Cup Hockey straight up? No. Last night, yes. Tonight, we did a Toronto Maple Leaf spot random. Those videos are up right now. That's a good, that's a good, that's an interesting question, William. How much did PEDs have an effect on, on basketball players? Do you, you don't hear a lot of basketball players, and I don't know if this is just a, a league, 
a league testing thing or whatever, but you don't hear a lot of basketball players using PEDs. Alright. Oh, nice. It was an Andrea Pirlo autograph. Oh, that makes sense. Santa Fe. What were some of the major cross streets? Now I'm curious. Landon reporting that Ian Hamm with another home run and hit one early. I uh, hit one early today in game one of the doubleheader. So Ian Hamm on fire. Good luck, everyone. Last box. This is pick your team or random team number nine. Four box break. And we've got Bam Adebayo, Hollow. And John Stockton. Autograph. Gold. That card is gold. Jeremy, 33, with the Utah Jazz. There you go, seven out of 10. And someone scored a goal too. The uh, Lightning just scored a goal, three nothing over the Capitals right now. The almost started the second period. Nice John Stockton. Tyler Dorsey hollow. Mike Connolly, red for the Grizz. Markel Fultz rated rookie. And Tony Bradley for the Jazz. Orange. Rated rookie orange. Yeah, I think I remember that too, William, out of 199. The, 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 the stereotype or whatever seems to be that, well, basketball players don't need steroids or performance-enhancing drugs because it just doesn't help them as much. I think, you know, like, sure, you got to bulk up to a certain extent, but... It's not, not in the way that you would if you were a football player. I think, like, flexibility, speed, movement, you know, that kind of thing is a little more important for, uh, for basketball players. 49 out of 99, all clear for takeoff tomorrow, Rosen. Kevin Crouch with the Raptors. It's like the, the sort of common narrative was, well, basketball players don't need that per se. There's Lonzo, Ben Simmons. Some of those cards still seem to do well. Secondary market. Scotty Pippen. Kyle Kuzma. Nice bright spot for my Lakers. And the last bit here. Jason Tatum. We'll see him tonight. Tyler Eulis. Josh Jackson. And Thaddeus Young at the end. There you go, folks. That was a quick four box random team break of Donruss Optic Basketball. For the Suns, the Ulyss, Jeremy 33, was 47 out of 175. We'll see Jason Tatum in action tonight. Kyle Kuzma, Ben Simmons, great season for him. Lonzo Ball, we'll see what he, what, what he can do. Up and down season for him this year, battled some injuries. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a nice uh, John Stockton autograph right there for the Jazz. So we'll see what happens tonight. You know, maybe Larry Nance Jr., J.R. Smith, Kevin Love over there. These are your guards right here. That's how that sets up. And then they're going to have to battle with Jason Tatum, 
Marcus Morris up front. He'd probably be guarding LeBron right here. Jalen Brown as well. Ojale might get some time too. And Al Horford up here. That'll be an interesting battle, folks. We're gonna that game's gonna be starting in just about ten minutes. We'll be watching it. We'll be discussing it. Let's break some more basketball. We've got Chronicles on the site. Check that out. And we'll see you next time on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Bye-bye.